greeting anglers. Uh, hope you're all very well. We are back down the mere again. Uh, I've been down here, I've done a night last night and uh, very, very quiet, a good night's sleep was had. Uh, nothing to report really. So um, I sort of got down here yesterday. Um, it was given massive rains and wind moving in, which did arrive sort of about an hour after I got the rods out. And uh, yeah, very quiet night followed really. So I've got up today, as you can see, Nice big southwesterly pushing through, it's lovely and sunny, high pressure, which is not the one, but uh, just re, uh, recast all the rods. I'll quickly run you through what we're doing in a minute. Um, but uh, yeah, it's been a couple of months since I've been down here. So uh, I did get down in the week with uh, shop dog Henry. We had a bit of a walk about and uh, stood on a few swims, didn't see much, it was very quiet. Um, it hasn't done a lot of fish, I think it's done about five fish for the past sort of two months. So. Uh, it has been hard going, that's for sure, but um, like I say, I've got a night left, so uh, hopefully we'll bag one. It'd be very nice if we do, but uh, I'll grab the camera now and I'll just show you where the spots are. So I'll just pick you up and show you. All right, bear with me. Right, so right hand rod, I've got, basically got that snag there. So if you come across about 12 foot, I'm sort of about here. I don't want to be near it because I know, if, you know, middle of the night, if I get a run, I ain't going to be fast enough to hit it. So um, I've come a good sort of 15 foot off it, um, locked up as well. So it uh, gives me plenty of time to hit it if I do get one. And then spinning you around. I've got that on a choddy, by the way, using that on the old uh, chod bites from CC Moore. Um, sort of the, for the forgotten hook bait, that one. But um, yeah, I've given that a good booster of the liquid as well for the winter. And uh, yeah, I'll be on those on the sort of singles and whatnot. I say a single, it's out there, I'll probably put about a dozen freebies around it really. So we're uh, just looking for that opportunist fish, if you like. I'm not actually a baiting campaign. I don't really bait snags as such. It's more of a, a quick hit, quick bite sort of thing. But I'll spin you around here. Uh, apologies for the wind. Um, I'm sort of, again, it, it, it's a predominantly silt bowl. Um, there's nothing much to report out there really. It's sort of 10 foot flat. So literally your bait is your feature. Um, so with the bait itself I've probably put about half a kilo straight in front of about 60 yards and I've sprayed it over sort of like half a tennis court size and I'm just fishing that on a multi-rig pop-up uh, just off it, the court ball matching pop-ups off that one and then left hand rod, swing round here into the teeth of the wind <laughs> um, I'm only fishing about, what would it be, about 25 yards I guess um, just off the, where the old pads used to be, the pads have died away now so I've just cast past the old pad line um, on the snowman setup uh, and that's how we're rocking out for the last 24 hours so here's open I shall keep you posted if out occurs well good evening people well I say evening it's morning now it's just gone 1am and uh, we've got a, a fish in the bag yes um, awesome looking 26 pound mirror it's uh, proper scaly as you like nice and orange and black and dark it's it's a stunner um, so yeah come on the left hand rod um, on that um, snowman setup we talked about earlier life system and the um, golden spice so chuffed as you like um, I'm just sat in the bivvy at the moment because it's raining so I'm just waiting for the rain to let up and then we can get the camera gear out and we can uh, show you the prize we got so uh, yeah absolutely took off like an absolute something possessed or bolted up like you saying to hit it and they uh, sort of kited right in through the other two rods managed to negotiate it back through and in the net she went so um yeah saved a blank and honestly when you see this fish you will be blown away it is absolutely gorgeous <laughs> right and uh, i'll wait for this rain to stop and then i'll see you on the nookie mat right so right so this is the prize on the left hand rod downside of autumn bloody leaves everywhere all over the fish <laughs> She is. What an absolute cracker of a fish at 26 to We had calm down, girl. Calm down. Oh, that's an absolute pill. <laughs> Absolutely chuffed to get this one. About to right off the brain. And I'll show you the other side of this beastie. This creature at 26 to What an absolute magical looking fish. Beautiful scales and uh, it's lovely and dark. Like I say, I know the light doesn't really give it justice, but uh, I know dark it is, but it's quite lively because, like I say, he's had a bit of a rest in the sling. But I'll run off some snaps and get it back. I'm blown away with this one.
good damp morning from me. Uh, nothing to report after that fish last night. Nothing really occurred after. A load of rain moved in. Uh, cleared up about 3 a.m. Dropped really cold, clear skies and whatnot. Sort of the first fingertips of winter creeping in on us. <laughs> but um, yeah, very quiet. You know, I really thought another one was going to be on the cards, but uh, nothing sort of came through for me. Uh, I think it's probably carp greed setting in. Toes away. Once you've had one, you want another, don't you? Uh, but yeah, got to be on my toes in about an hour's time. So I'm going to quickly finish my brew, start packing down the wet kit, not the one. And uh, yeah, get on my toes and get home. Um, I'll be back down hopefully in about a week's time. Uh, hopefully during that week I'm going to get down here, trickle some bait into some spots. So uh, it sort of gives a bit of a confidence boost for the overnighter. Hopefully get the fish visiting those spots really during this next week or so. And we'll go from there. So uh, this session is to be continued. I shall hopefully catch up with you in a week's time. Well, greetings from the van. I uh, hope you're all well. Uh, it's been uh, probably getting on nearly three weeks now since um, we were down the lake and had that 26. But um, yeah, it's just been a bit crazy at work really. Uh, it's sort of trade show season at the moment. So um, sort of traveling up and down the, uh, the UK, going to various different manufacturers, seeing what they've been up to, seeing what's all been released for next year and that. And uh, hand on heart, I don't think us ang anglers have ever had it so good. There's so much new kit coming out next year and uh, my Christmas list has sort of doubled in size, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, just on the way to work this morning, um, it's a Monday, don't normally do Mondays, normally on the bank, but um, now I've got to go in, do a uh, couple of orders I've got to do with a few reps. Uh, as soon as we've done them, I'm going to get back down the lake, not the lake that we fished last time, it's another different water. Um, I've got a little um, feature that Fox have asked us to do uh, for the Syndicate website. So I'm on there sort of hopefully Wednesday. So I'm gonna go down today, pre-bait, hopefully no one's on. If no one's on, I can get some bait in some areas with a view then to go in down in two days time and uh, stick in a few rigs on those areas. Hopefully we can snare one for the feature. So uh, I'll uh, stop gas bagging, get my ass to work, get it all sorted and done. We'll get down the lake then. And um, like I say, we we'll get some bait in with a view to hitting the bank on Wednesday. So. Uh, I'll see you Wednesday. brew of the session always goes down the well doesn't it the first one um, but yeah here we are at the lake all set up all angling and the rods are on the money uh, it is the Wednesday now um, I did get down here after work I last spoke to you in the van but um, yeah that was the Monday so a couple of days ago but yeah got down here on the Monday after work I managed to get some bait in I brought uh, Henry's shot dog with me he spent most of his time running around in the leaves and making a commotion but uh, he seemed to enjoy himself so but uh, yeah, we've probably put about two and a half, maybe three kilos of uh, the live system in the lake. Um, not far out, so it'll be nice, comfortable fishing, 30 yards maximum, which would be in about 17 foot of water. It has had quite a few frosts this last sort of few weeks, so um, the water temperature's dropped, and I just feel the fish now are starting to move in together and start to hold up in the deeper areas of the lake. So fingers crossed we've got it right, you know, um, I've kept it really simple, I've gone for snowmans on all rods, the same combination we used for that last fish we had at the other water, the 26, so um, yeah, I've just teamed it up again with the life system and the golden spice. And uh, again, baby little stick, although this time I have introduced the new liquid, which is the response cream. Um, I say it's a new liquid, it's been out for a while with CC Moore, but I've only just had it into the tackle shop we used that. And as, as soon as we got it in, I opened it and I was like, that is going to work with the life system 100 percent that is a marriage made in heaven that one. Uh, so yeah i've given that a loving dose on each rod as it's been fired out and i'll probably put about one catapult of uh, 15 mil life system over the top 
you're probably talking eight or nine baits tops, that's it. So um, yeah, we're fishing for a bite. I'm only here for the night. I've got to be on my toes tomorrow morning, so fingers crossed we can snare one before we go. Done the feature of the fox, so uh, all that, all the photographs are done for the products and whatnot. So it'll be nice just to finish it off with a, a lovely autumn fish. So uh, over to the carp gods. Come on, fellas. We're in. Obviously that uh, response cream's done the trick. <laughs> I suppose it's been out. It's probably been out about four hours actually. in there. Nice. Well, here we are just as the light's fading and there's the mirror. Gorgeous, beautiful autumn colours. Look at that. Stunning. Black back and a golden belly. Can't ask more than that. <laughs> About, it's going to get dark in about half an hour, so it's uh, nice to be off the mark before the sun goes down. Like I say, we're off tomorrow morning, so hopefully another one might grace the net during the night. It's uh, a great start all the same, taking on that snowman setup. First time using that response liquid, four hours in, result. <laughs> Excellent job. Thank you very much, fella. Right, a little kiss. We'll get him back and uh, hopefully speak to you shortly. Well, good morning. Um, Woolen Hat is in full motion again. Uh, proper drop cold last night. Well, well, I say proper. Probably got down to sort of two degrees, so it wasn't crazy cold. But uh, I'm feeling it enough for the old uh, Woolen Moggy Hat to come back out. Uh, but uh, yeah, we've got a result. Another fish has arrived on the bank. Yes. Um, it's an absolute beautiful scaly dark mirror again. Uh, went 21-14 this one. And uh, yeah, proper, absolute beautiful looking thing. Uh, come on the same rod. Um, I recast that one last night. I put about, I don't know, probably two pouches of, cat of the live system over the top again. So you're talking 20 baits tops. Yeah, and it came good for me about an hour ago, just before first light. So um, it's just sitting in the recovery sling at the moment. So as soon as I finish this first brew, I'll uh, get Mr. Beastie out and we'll show you what we got. But uh, trust me, it's an absolute belter. Right, here we are with Mr. Beast, and uh, honest to God, what an absolute amazing creature this one is. Colours on it is out of this world. Let's just give her a bit of a dose of the water. I know I keep saying this about, this is one of the prettiest fish I've caught and all that, but um, oh my God. Right, oh, right, calm down, quick photos in the back of your sack, hang on, right, feast your eyes on that absolute belter, what a fish, can't ask for better than that can you, cracking colours and a beautiful scale pattern, this is what they're about, I don't care how big they are, this is why I go carp fishing, unbelievable. So, so happy on an overnight as well. Can't ask for more than that. Ooh. I will say on these last baits, 
I have been actually glugging the freebies as well in that response liquid, giving it a dousing, giving it a bit of a roll around, and then those are the cat pots that have been going over the top. And uh, yeah, can't argue with the results, can we? What a belter. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's it from me. I'll take some snaps of this. We'll get this one back and then I'll get, I'll get on my toes and get to work. So uh, once again, thank you ever so much for watching the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, but for now from me and this absolute beautiful scaly beastie, we'll bid you a farewell and uh, we'll see you on the next vlog. Thanks for watching, guys. Come on. <laughs>